hello there welcome to my youtube channel my name is marion golda today i want to talk to you about career options you have in the civil engineering industry so if you've done a degree in civil engineering or you're a student and you want to know what options you have as a civil engineer as you may already know civil engineering is a very wide field and you have so many options that you can uh, opt for uh, in this field so the first option you have as a civil engineer is structural engineering as a structural engineer you're going to be doing designs you're going to be designing buildings you're going to be designing uh, any structure basically a structural engineer is someone who designs uh, structures so you design buildings you design culverts you design um, uh, towers any structure you're going to be doing design of structures another thing you'll be, you, be, you can do as a you'll be doing as a social engineer is uh, doing uh, investigations and reports you're going to be doing like before you do a design you're going to go on ground look at how uh, the ground conditions before you start doing your designs uh, another thing you'll be doing as a structural engineer is you will be doing material specifications. So we're doing a building. What, what, uh, which bars are we going to be using for the column? Which bars are you going to be using for the beams? You're going to be specifying the, st the steel ribbons. You're going to be specifying uh, which concrete class are, are we going to be using? Uh, you know, to, you're not going to be using the same concrete class for the superstructure as you're going to be using for the substructure so these are the some of the things that a, a social engineer specifies so material specification another thing that a social engineer does is uh, you can be doing structural audits so when you're you have become you become like a seasoned engineer or like you've been in the field for so long you can be able to do structural audits in buildings that have been uh, or structures that has been done and see uh, are they safe what were they what they done the right way yeah so you can be doing structural audits uh, those are some of the things that a social engineer does so when you're having a structural project a social engineer can also be a resident engineer and oversee activities that are going on a construction site and ensure that whatever is going to is being doing on site is actually what was designed uh, the second option you have in the civil engineering field is highway engineering a highway engineer uh, in highway engineering you have three options you have you can be a materials engineer who is a materials engineer materials engineer you're going to be you're going to be doing um, material site investigations if you're going to be doing a project where are we going to get the materials we're going to be doing a road where are we going to get our uh, our, our pavement layers you're going to be doing investigations of where we're going to be getting these materials you do testing on these materials and ensure that these materials are of good quality and can be used in construction Another thing that material engineer does is pavement design. You're going to be doing the pavement design layers. Depending on the traffic classes, which pavement is suitable for this particular road. Another option you have as a highway engineer is traffic engineering. A traffic engineer collects traffic data, uh, does analysis for this data, and is able to design uh, uh, traffic loading for different types of uh, road, roadways. So this data from tra a traffic engineer is very important because in the road sector it informs uh, what the geometric, uh, geometric engineer is going to do, what the structural engineer is going to do with the bridges, what the, what the material engineer is going to be designed, what, uh, what time, type of pavement the material engineer is going to be designing. So the traffic engineer uh, informs like the from the calculations the traffic engineer does informs a lot uh, uh, of what the other experts in the road sector is going to be doing the other option you have is geometric uh, design engineer which i have mentioned geometric design engineer you're going to be doing horizontal and vertical alignment designs and you're also going to be doing base map generations so these are the three areas you can do in the highway engineering material engineering traffic engineering geometric design engineering the third option you have 
in the civil engineering field is water engineering. As a water engineer, you're going to be doing uh, design of water systems, water supply systems, wastewater uh, systems. Uh, you're going to be doing the uh, design of dams and you're going to be doing design maintenance and, and construction supervision of anything related to water supply, wastewater and, and, and dam construction. The, the other option you have is environmentalist. Um, who is an environmentalist? As an environmentalist, you're going to ensure that the project does not impact the environment negatively. So you're going to be able to ensure if you're in Kenya that it complies with the NEMA uh, standards, that all the NEMA standards have been uh, complied with in this project. You're going to ensure, you're going to look into the impacts that this project is going, could be having into the environment and be able to mitigate the risks. Now, in some cases, the environmentalist doubles up as a sociologist, though sociologist is not an environmentalist, and environmentalist is not a sociologist, but as, a, as some environmentalists double up as a sociologist, and they're able to, um, to, to uh, communicate with stakeholders, communicate with the public about projects that are, are, are going on. Yes, uh, we're going to be, we're, we're doing this project in your area. This is how the project is going to uh, help you. This is how the project is going to affect you. The, uh, what do you need? Like if, if this area, um, we need access. We have like a, a, a manufacturing industry somewhere. We need access. We need an access, access roads to these places. So depending on that area, they can be able to tell you like uh, what they need for themselves in that region. And you have to uh, be able to talk to them. We're going to be doing drainage. We need drainage. The people who want, like, they want the water to be drained into their chambers. So you need to talk to um, the public and tell them about this project is going is going to be uh, happening in their area. Uh, another. Uh, uh, option that you have is academic institutions you can be a lecturer so you can be able to train people who want to enter the civil engineering field you can lecture in uh, universities you can lecture in polytechnics basically institutions of higher learning so another option you have is geotechnical engineer the geotechnical enge engineer works closely with the structural engineer because the geotechnical engineer designs um, foundations for structures so you're going to be able to, your, your job is going to be designing foundations, you're going to be doing uh, tests and investigations on the, under, on the ground, you know, what type, depending on the type of, uh, of the underlying uh, the ground, you're able to design foundations for different structures. Another thing that you can do is um, construction dispute experts, so you can do arbitration. So for you to do this, you need to be knowledgeable in construction law, you need to be knowledgeable in uh, law of contracts, you need to be knowledgeable on the culture, the construction culture. So that when there are disputes uh, for construction and infrastructural projects, you're able to provide uh, solutions, you're able to solve disputes. Another thing that you can do uh, as a civil engineer is project auditing. You can be a project auditor. So you go uh, check the projects that have been done. Uh, were they done? Did they meet objectives? How were they done? Were there any impacts, economic impacts, social impacts, environmental impacts? You go collect data about projects that have been done. And this data is very important and can inform a lot of decisions for future projects. Uh, auditing also helps uh, with projects to, to mitigate risks. Sometimes you find that projects were done and um, the standards that are not followed in this project the finished project is actually risky and you you you're able to see that even for buildings when buildings were were falling everywhere there are people who was the social engineers were were deployed to go and do uh social audits to ensure that these buildings that are are actually uh, out there are safe uh, for people to live into so you can be a project auditor Another option you have is project management or uh, BIM manager. So BIM is, is a platform that uh, helps with coordination, communication, literally improving efficiency of a project. 
So you can, for BIM projects that is mostly used in the built environment, you can be a BIM manager and you coordinate delivery of projects. You can be a project manager. Uh, basically, BIM is a tool that is used by project managers. So let me just say it's a project manager. So you can be a project manager. Uh, and your job is to ensure that project is delivered on time. The client's uh, uh, needs are met and the projects are done within stipulated budgets and you're able to coordinate all teams that are involved in this project and ensure project delivery. Another option you have in the civil engineering field, uh, I have three options for people who ha uh, have a diploma in civil engineering. The first option is you can be a CAD specialist. So you'll be doing construction drawings, engineering drawings, that is going to be your job. You're going to be doing engineering drawings. Another thing that you can be able to do with a diploma in civil engineering is a material technologist. So you're going to be working with a materials engineer and you're going to be doing testing, you're going to be doing sampling, you're going to be doing um, the, uh, you're going to be doing sampling and testing in material laboratories. Another thing that you can be doing with a diploma in civil engineering, and this is also open to people with degrees, is uh, you can be a foreman and or forewoman and be able to uh, coordinate activities on site. You're going to be able to be assigning job, uh, coordinating manual workers, you're going to be ensuring safety on site, you're going to be doing reports uh, and work together with a site engineer. Speaking of a site engineer, another career option you have is a site engineer. So as a site engineer, you'll be working for a contractor and you'll be working at a construction site. You're going to be ensuring that uh, safety and health uh, measures are met in the construction site. You're going to ensure that the construction site is safe for everyone. You're going to be coordinating teams. You're going to be organizing meetings. You're going to be ensuring things that are being done on site is done according to designs. You're going to be doing things like setting out, surveys. So these are some of the things that you can do as a site engineer. Another option you have is being a contractor. A contractor is is someone who is going to be delivering projects. So after projects are designed, they need to be built. So a contractor is, is, is the one who is going to be building these projects. So the people who do um, something called design and build. So it's, it's a situation where like you, you bid for a project and then you do its design and you build it. But the projects where design is done by a separate team and now the contractors are are, uh, are contracted to do the construction of the works. Another option you have in the civil engineering industry is public health engineering. Who is a public health engineer? You're going to be designing water systems. You're going to be doing testing. You know, as a public health engineer, you're in charge of sanitation. If, you're, if you ha we have water systems, you know, distributing water to the public. Is this water safe? Is this drinking water safe? Is this water that is being utilized for households? Is it safe? You're going to be working uh, with wastewater treatment plants. The systems, you know, it's a process to treat wastewater. You're going to be ensuring that all of these are working well. Yes, you're going to be doing test things because they need to be the right conditions, pH, temperature and everything. You're going to be ensure that these things are, are working correctly and the wastewater that you're releasing to the environment is actually safe. Another thing you can be doing as a public health engineer is uh, designing water and wastewater systems. Another option you have in the civil engineering field is hydrology. So you can be an hydrologist and as an hydrologist you're going to be doing sizing. So for example if you're working in the road sector you're going to be doing sizing of uh, roadway structures. So depending on like if you're going to be sizing a bridge uh, you're going to be telling us like uh, depending on the channel characteristics this is the height of the bridge that you're going to be uh, you're going to be needing so that we don't design for example like floating culverts so you're going to be designing uh, uh, structures that are able to uh, pass like uh, water effectively so you, if you're working as an hydrologist in the road sector you're going to in the, in the road sector you're going to be able to be sizing structures so also you, you, you can you as an hydrologist you need to be doing design of side drains. So you're going to be determining the 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 width of the side drains, the depth of the side drains, 
and you're going to be uh, you're going to do your uh, your investigations here is where we're having a river our side race is going to be how is the road sloping how is how we're going to be draining our roads and you're going to provide adequate depth and widths and you know sizing of the side drains so these are the options you have as a civil engineer in the, in the industry so there are so many options and when you get to be experienced then you have even wide like more options but this is a, a, a field where you can you can you can get into so much you have so many options i hope this video was able to answer your questions thank you very much for watching until next time goodbye